Hello dear children today in EVS we will learn lesson number 2 our wonderful body let's start our body is a living machine it has two types of organs external organs and internal organs the parts of our body that we can see are called external organs some of the external organs are the head the arms the legs the eyes the ears the nose and the tongue the part that are inside the body are called internal organs some of the internal organs are the brain the heart the lungs and the stomach children do you know that god has given us this wonderful body students our body works like a machine it has many parts which is also called organs there are many organs some organs can be seen and some organs which cannot be seen so the organs which we can see are called external organs like eyes nose ears mouth hands legs arms and many more then there are some organs which we cannot see and they are inside of our body and they are called internal organs like brain heart stomach and the lungs students today we will learn about the internal organs and the first is brain students see this is the picture of a brain it help us to think it also help us to work so students remember brain help us to think as well it also help us to do some work remember whatever we learn it is stored in the brain and there is one more important thing and that is head head protects the brain next we have heart students see the second picture is heart it beats with a sound like this lub dub lub dub the heart pumps blood to all parts of the body a doctor uses a stethoscope to listen to the heart beat okay students do you know that heart is one of the most important organ of the body why because it pumps blood to all the parts of the body you must have seen doctor using stethoscope to check the heart beat of the patients heart beats like uh, with a sound like lub dub lub dub students please make a note that heart is the most important organ of the body if the heart stops each and every organ stop functioning children next we have lungs children look at the picture carefully these are the lungs they help us to breathe they fill up with air when we breathe in and the lungs lies in the chest like the heart next we have stomach students look at the next picture it is our stomach it looks like a bag the food we eat goes to the stomach children stomach lies below the chest and whatever food you eat it helps to digest that food and remember it looks like a bag next we have our sense organs you must have learned about the five sense organs can you guess the five sense organs children yes the five sense organs are eyes nose ears tongue and the skin children do you know how do they help us let's read about them our eyes help us to see our nose helps us to smell our ears 
help us to hear. Our tongue helps us to taste. Our skin helps us to feel hot and cold. All the organs together help the body to work properly. We should take care of our body. We should keep it clean. How we are going to keep our body clean? By taking bath every day, by brushing our teeth twice a day and many more. We need fresh air to breathe, clean water to drink and proper food to eat. We also need exercise. We need to take rest. Children, remember, to remain fit and healthy, we need proper and fresh air to breathe and clean water to drink as well as proper and healthy food to eat. Not only these things, we also need to do the exercises to keep ourselves fit. At the same time, we also need to take rest. Children, can you name the largest organ in your body? Yes, the largest organ in your body is the skin. That's all we have in today's lesson. Children, I hope you have enjoyed it. Children, do not forget to do the reading of this chapter. Thank you and have a nice day.